What's up, guys? It's Coach Brian. I wanted to uh, jump in here real quick. I'm going to let this batch for a minute and let this build up in the group. Um, how y'all doing today? We are starting our, excuse my, my barbell dust on my shirt here. Got to lift some weights. Um, I want to uh, start today with uh, uh, introducing myself. My name is Coach Brian. I'm the uh, owner of this program. And I wanted to invite you personally into our 13.0 uh, summer slim down program that we're going to be starting here. What's up, Amber? Uh, we're going to be starting here uh, today. Today is the first day of zero week, and what we try to do within zero week is get you trained up, uh, get an understanding, and a couple buffer days to kind of get you so prepared mentally for a program because there's a, there's a lot going on. It's not your your average uh, eat some eggs and exercise program that people try to throw it. At, um, people for weight loss um, what we're what we're here to do what's up Rachel Beth what we're here to do is uh, what we're here to do is try to teach you a a linear platform of understanding a program on, on how to build a sustainable uh, lifestyle of weight loss and wellness into your life and it's never more important than a time than now after a year of of even worse we're already sedentary and I think that it's even gotten worse for people nowadays because we can't go out and enjoy or we've been fearful of, of being being able to go out and enjoy life and interact with uh, fellow human beings and go out into the public and exercise and and you know practice good healthy mindset and and things like that so uh, it's really important for you to get out and get adequate sources of vitamin D to uh, mitigate risk for this particular virus that's been spinning around uh, nationwide and worldwide. Um, I, I know I've lost, uh, personally lost friends because of the virus. So um, we, actually, we actually have a member of our group, uh, I'm not going to mention any names, that's in the hospital right now because of COVID. So it's still a, a, a real thing and, and we can't lose sight of, of uh, how important it is to um, get adequate exercise to get adequate amount of rest to get adequate amount of of hydration and adequate doses of of healthy thought into your life because you have to be ready you have to be ready for the next uh thing that's going to occur in your life and what our program is meant to do what's up julia what uh what our program is meant to do is 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 to help you um build a kind of a a Kind of a an armor against uh, disease and 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 stress and the things that may happen in life. Um, that's what we're trying to build up here, you know, and also give you a foundation of of, of health, you know. So if you go on a vacation or if something tra some type of tragedy happens in your life, you know where to go day two. You know that you have to focus on your steps. You know you have to where to go and how to focus on your nutrition because you've been uh, effectively trained on how to manage it. You know how to uh, really try to start mitigating negative thoughts and and to tr you know change the uh, the negative aspect of, of thought and how the, the snowball effect of that occurs. So um, I just kind of want to jump in really quick and just kind of create an open dialogue. I know Julia and Rachel Beth is both watching. You guys have. You guys want to throw in anything as far as a comment goes, or a question, or anything? Um, top something up. I know Rachel Beth is actually in Orange Beach enjoying her vacation right now. Uh, Julia, I think she's probably going to work. She's one of our active VPT clients right now in our VPT program, virtual personal training. You get a coach assigned to you on a daily basis to help manage your, your nutrition, we also provide programming and uh, and accountability to that nutrition and programming on a daily basis. So, uh, Rachel Beth, we're with the sun. It's it's pretty day out. Yeah, we can <laughs> we can go ahead and acknowledge that. Uh, it's a little cool though. I don't know about going to the beach in this wind, this weather. Uh, but um, I don't know where I was going with that. I lost my train of thought. But. Uh, Julie is one of our VPT clients, and um, she's been with us for a year. She just celebrated her goal weight. I think she's lost um, – let me pull up her file real quick. I think Julie has lost 
70 pounds, I think. I know she's lost uh, quite a bit with us. Uh, she And thank you, Julie, Julia. You have seen your own life. We're just here to help out. She's lost 140 pounds total is what she said. Uh, we can't be, uh, we can't take Full, total, full and total credit for that. She has lost some of that on her own, but in the year that she's been with us, uh, she started with Coach Keenan, and then um, once Coach Keenan had to go off into the military, um, I've taken over, uh, and Dr. Walker and I have both taken over in management of Julia and her weight loss process. So super proud of her. She's come so far. She's still got some ways to go as far as uh, she's hit her go weight, so what's what's there to do now? You know, and that's part of that decision making process. is is good to have someone that has expertise of where to navigate and push you toward next. You know, having a new goal, you may not understand it. You may you not know where to go. So we could come up with plausible scenarios of like maybe you want to do a handstand walk. Maybe you just want to be able to, be able to run a mile. Maybe you want to have a three hundred pound bat squat. Maybe you want to have a five hundred pound deadlift. Maybe you want to um, have a six pack. Maybe you just want to feel good and sleep well. So there's a lot of different things that um, we can kind of handle and it's all done through proper exercise and nutrition. So um, being able to uh, um, attack the disease processes that we uh, give ourselves to our behavior and, we, um, and also through things that we cannot control. So uh, Julia's done really well within our, our, our group. So keeping her going um we're super proud of her uh rachel beth uh she has i think she lost about 50 pounds with us before um the winter time kind of kicked in and she's kind of falling off the wagon a little bit i know she's been talking about coming into the next uh group so we're really excited to see her come back um she's enjoying herself i think i got a snap from her yesterday that she was having a drink at uh seeing suds which i was very jealous of so i hope she enjoys herself in this this weekend of of, of breaking uh, um as far as the the, the group goes we're going to be moving into and we we experimented uh over uh the this last cycle with uh band app i'm really happy about it and reason why one reason why i'm happy about it is because it's her own app we don't have to struggle with notifications coming in from from Sally Sue and, and all this other crazy stuff that's out there nowadays for distraction. You can come to the app for a one single source of information, which is to is to uh, be educated by us, but also have accountability within a group. Some other things that it does is it, it keeps up with how many times you actually post and provide your, your, your nutrition uh, accountability uh, within the group so I can see percentages as far as that goes and it also gives you prompts for that too so uh, it also has an internal mechanism for group messaging which is I think really good to um, don't sleep on on the band app it's a really good app I think it's actually better than Facebook um, because it has and it's been created for for actually for education so um, it's a great opportunity for us to be able to uh, give you the ideas that you need to be able to take over into your life and implement. So sometimes it takes some time for us to get out of our own ways and it takes some <clears throat> repetitive messages until you actually finally get it into your uh, to your daily habits and that's okay. I, I know that sometimes even I have to rewatch my own videos. As, as knowledgeable as I am, that's a little bit of a of truth for me you know I like to go back and listen to my own videos and there's some things that you sometimes forget so um, uh, that's what those uh, that's what those videos are for on should I be clean uh, YouTube page so you can go back and listen to uh, content that we've provided ideas um, that all come from from different types of research that we've uh, went through and also uh, ideas that we've implemented and things that have come up and have worked for people so um, this is all a big, huge brain trust. And the culmination of uh, 20 years of my life in fitness, also uh, Dr. Bridget Walker, uh, her contributions to education, Amber Freeman, Keenan Fowkes, uh, Michael Wynn, all, everybody have, have come together. I, I think there's probably at least 
I don't want to say this out loud, almost 100 years of experience between all the coaches for education here in our group. So um, I'm pretty proud of that. My group is phenomenal as far as coaches go. You're not going to find a better group of coaches anywhere as far as uh, experience level uh, and application and, it's, and execution as well. Uh, um, there may be some different uh, methods of delivery for, for coaching models out there, but our level of accountability and what you get for human capital is unparalleled unparalleled you're not going to find a phd that's going to help you figure out your nutrition on a daily basis you're not going to be able to find a, a masters of ed you're not going to be able to find a 20-year crossfit coach you're not going to be able to find a masters in exercise physiology to be able to come communicate on a daily basis so um i'm really really happy about the, the process that you know that we've built up within our program so let's talk about a program. We also have an app called Wattify uh, Rise that's part of the, it's a really important part of our accountability model. There's several different layers. One of the layers is the Wattify Rise app and that is the Pavlovian reward, reward of being able to uh, um, give the, the athlete points for uh, executing the daily activities and participating in a group and um, that accountability builds up over time. Studies have shown that if you track your macros, you go from a 30% success rate to a 90% success rate, almost 95. So that is the uh, secret sauce, but one of the secret sauces behind the program is that we have to stay accountable to you so that you can execute the things that you need to execute to be successful. And um, that kind of rolls out as you progress, you know, uh, you never know, and we use this slogan a lot, you never know how good you can be until you actually commit to it. And then what that feels like past that, so once you become good here, if you continue to be good, you don't know where that's going to go. And then once you become good here and you continue to grow here and then you become here and you go here and you continue to grow until infinity, you literally don't know how awesome you can be. If you continue with the program, I know that I'm 45 and I'm still hitting PRs. I'm still doing things that I never thought I could achieve as far as physical um, abilities and 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 uh, that kind of stuff. So uh, it's really super important to be able to uh, stay locked in for your wellness and keep your foot on the gas pedal. What's up, Russell? Uh, keep your foot on the, on the gas pedal as far as... Uh, um, uh, pushing the, the outer limits of your health. Uh, part of the whole process is a process called hermesis. And it's a very uh, unknown kind of process to, for most people. And what hermesis is, is the biological adaptation to oxidative stress. And to kind of uh, give you a little example of that is there's some mice in Chernobyl. I hope you know what Chernobyl is. It's a nuclear uh, uh, power plant accident in Russia. And there's some mice there that are actually now immune to um, radiation. And uh, through many generations of the rice and uh, of the mice living around the nuclear uh, site, they have been uh, given daily doses of radiation, and that process of her 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 hermesis has taken over, and um, it has now made them so strong that radiation no longer affects them. So in the same idea, you know, as you're doing daily activities that are difficult, it makes your body stronger. So if you're walking every day, you're, you're stronger. You're eating the right kind of, uh, uh, of nutrition, you're stronger. You're lifting weights, you're a little stronger. It makes your immune system stronger. Um, these daily doses of small little uh, bits and pieces of poison, which is, uh, you know, like, difficult activity and what we call poison it helps build your resiliency of survival up a little bit higher so uh, if you find life being pretty difficult on you it's probably because you're 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 not really pushing yourself to 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 really try to uh, push the envelope of of comfort in your life you know typically most people and then there's been this lie that's been created nowadays of Oh, you need to you need to chill out. You need to 
calm down. You need to, uh, you know, don't work as hard. You need to do all this and, and relax and do all this other junk. And, and what it has done is made it soft. It's made us very soft in, in America. And, and because of that, we have the, especially in the South, the worst, the worst mortality rate in the nation. Alabama, Mississippi has the worst mortality rate. What that means is we die younger. So does that mean that, you know, we're lazy here in the South? I don't think so. I think it's just because, you know, we've become a custom air conditioner and fried food. And, um, we have lost our, our warrior way, the things that have gotten us here as a, as a people and, and helped us to uh, become successful has, has gone away. So what we want to do is help you become more resilient in this daily dose of her, hermesis. Um, if you ever get a chance to read the book, uh, The Spartan Way by Joe Decina, he talks about this process of, of daily training toward hard activities or creating dis discomfort in your life. Um, uh, is, is a way to be able to handle stressors. I mean, he describes in the book of a process where he left day trading where he was stressed out all the time. He was miserable. And then he uh, decided to go the Spartan route and he started doing a uh, really large dose endurance trails. So a really large dose of endurance, which is for him is this, you don't, you can't imagine this guy's work ethic. Um, I had the opportunity to work with him in Iceland twice. So uh, Joe Decina went on the Iditarod, which is a, uh, a trail in Alaska that's usually ran with six dogs and a sledder. He did it on foot. And uh, during the process of the uh, Iditarod on foot, they were walking across a crevice and didn't realize that they were in a valley, so they fell down into the snow. So it was like falling into the avalanche. So they're buried, they were buried in the snow. And um, he describes in the book to where there was this time where the, the person that was leading the group said that he doesn't think we're gonna make it out of this. And of course they made it out and he invented Spartan, the Spartan race. But um, he said from that point forward, nothing was ever stressful for him. Nothing was ever stressful ever again. So used to get mad in traffic, used to get mad at people at work. And I think I've kind of seen this also in my life as, as we become, as we get around things that are, are very difficult as far as physical skill, um, it, it provides peace when we become shown some other things that typically might stress us out. So, um, it helps you kind of give you that daily dose of hermosis of stress and then it allows you to be able to handle stress a little bit better for other things too. So, um, which is an important aspect of what we try to focus on in our program, which is a fit thinker. Um, we have these uh, set points in our program. And what my idea on this is, is that uh, most human beings memorize things in a archetypical way. So they they think of it as, or they think of things as, as a story. So you guys know the process of Noah's Ark, right? I don't even have to like start. To be, it already comes out. Say Noah's Ark, you know that two animals got on a boat and they escaped the flood and they survived it, and, they, and the world survived because of it, right? That's the archetypical that files in your in your brain. So what we want to do within a program is create stories. So you can understand how to implement these things whenever you need to access them into your brain. So one of the set points in our, in our program is called the Fit Thinker. And um, uh, what I wanted to do within that process is help people stay orientated toward positive thought. And um, how do you, how do you uh, provide a protocol within that? So what we did was, uh, what we're going to do within a program is help you understand what it's like to uh, notice more positivity in your life and what happens whenever you do that. So not only are we gonna deliver a great nutrition and 20 years of nutrition, not only are we gonna give you great activity, and now we're gonna give you a great community, which is a part of it, but we're gonna provide some, some behavioral health science along with that too. So not the, you know, really give away too much of our, our secret sauce, but uh, 
Um, the Fit Banker is an incredibly uh, important part of the program. If you get the opportunity to go to Should It Be Clean YouTube page, uh, look at our, our page and find the video on Fit Thinker, and you can kind of watch it and understand it and, the, and how that kind of rolls out in your life. So um, I just want to jump in here real quick and uh, invite you to 13.0. So we've had 13 different challenges. Um, this is the 13th version of, of it. Uh, I think this will be almost two and a half years that we've been uh, providing this challenge for people. And it, uh, it ebbs and flows. People come and go, but it's always going to be here. It's a, it's a program I actually created for myself to um, go to Iceland, uh, to be accountable to being able to survive a 24-hour obstacle course race. Um, and the process that I learned from going and then going back. So if you don't know that about me, I went to uh, Iceland um, twice and completed a 24-hour obstacle race in the middle of winter out there. So what, and what my job and duty was is to help disabled veterans. So I was very honored to be, select, be selected by Spark.com and a few other charities to, to help some disabled veterans do the course. I actually posted a, f a photo yesterday of one of our successful uh, veterans that was actually, that we helped through the course, Earl Granville, yesterday, um, and he's joined our, our team and uh, has done really well. I don't know if you saw his story, but his testimony was, and I hadn't, didn't even know it, but um, he was on his, on his way um, to getting a, his other good leg the one that survived the IED blast in, in I think it was Afghanistan or Iraq, I, wish I, I think it was Afghanistan, where he lost his leg. They put that leg back together and um, because of pain and, and problems with that, uh, he was gonna go ahead and get amputated, but he, he joined our program and um, got his life together. His life is already together. But as far as nutrition goes, the guy has a lot together. He travels a lot and speaks. Um, he lost 30 pounds. And so far, it's helped him with pain within his leg. And so it has saved his leg. Um, he told me this two days ago. I, I, I had no idea. So I knew he, I mean, we knew he lost weight, but I didn't know the circumstances was, was so dire for him. So um, we're really happy to and it's probably some of my fault I'm a little bit too humble but I don't like talking about success stories too much uh, I leave it up to the athletes to do that but we've probably had over a hundred stories similar to that over the last two years so um, we're doing good things for people I feel like our coaching team is doing great and um, we're helping people challenge their their ways that that have made them unhealthy and helping them focus on a, on a new way to a new way of living which is making themselves a priority and I really feel like that you know we all wake up with two choices in the morning uh, we have a choice of going towards self-destruction or a choice or a path towards self-fulfillment and this is like the old parable of, of the two wolves where they talk about um, this uh, Native American boy is talking to his father and uh, he asks his father uh, which wolf does you know is does he think he's going to be the, the wolf that that is behind fear and and jealousy and, and hate and murder or the wolf that is part of be, being part of good and loving and being a part of a good family and all that kind of stuff and um, uh, the father says which it depends on which wolf you feed the most and that happens to us every day we have a choice choice between a good wolf and bad wolf which is self-destruction or self-fulfillment so if you make a choice on a daily basis or your choices through the day on a daily basis toward self-fulfillment you're going to be feeling you're going to be feeding that good wolf and that good wolf is going to help you stay healthy so um, that's the concept that's the archetype that's the that's the story behind our, our group and there's a lot of science behind it but I kind of wanted to give you a, a brief synopsis of the story of why we're here. Um, what our, our job is to do is help you understand a program that you can implement uh, for the 23 hours you're away from the gym. 
So uh, how, to, how to operate your life. So, uh, and that's important. Some people know that. Some people don't. Some people need reminding. I do. Um, so, because uh, life gets in the way, we get busy. We start thinking about work. Start thinking about relationships and family and health and things like that. And they, they may get in the way, but you can always go back and look at the set points and say, okay, I'm not feeling great. What's going on? Oh, I'm not drinking water. Oh, I'm not getting my sleep. Oh, I've been eating like crap over the last month and I've gained 10 pounds. Oh, I haven't been getting my steps in. Um, I haven't been, you know, practicing gratitude to kind of focus on more positivity in my life. So I'm not, I'm not um, uh, bringing more positivity into my, my external stimulus. So all that stuff matters on a daily basis. You know, we only have one life to live. We want to help manifest the best version of that. So if you want to manifest the, the, the worst version, you can make the, the choice of going to self-destruction every day. Or if you want to make the choice of the best life possible, possible, I can't guarantee you a great life, but I can guarantee you the best life possible if you, could tr if you make your choices every day toward a path of self-fulfillment. So we can't mitigate risks. We can't keep people from driving, you know, in, in traffic and hitting somebody with a car or something crazy. But we can do what we can do to make the spaces in between those tragedies of life and the way life goes um, better. Fill it up with, with love and life and, and family and the things that we need to do to be to be healthy. So that's the group. That's what we're doing. If you uh, if you're interested in um, uh, joining our group, you can go ahead and uh, go to showtobeclean.com and, and fill out a, a, a questionnaire there on the main page. Put your information in there. You can schedule an appointment, or you can just direct message me, Dr. Walker, Amber. You can't get uh, Keen anymore because she's in basic training. Michael Wynn, he's also available. So please uh, give us a shout out if you have an opportunity. If you have a friend that you think may need it. Uh, we are also really happy to um, help you on a corporate level. So if you uh, if you want to bring your whole business in to do a business challenge, we can implement this whole group for your business. So it's another little idea out there. So uh, if you have the opportunity to uh, shoot some messages, we'd be uh, happy to sit down with you and talk. Thanks for uh, sharing your afternoon with me. I'm going to go and uh, get some steps. You guys have a good day. See you in, in the challenge.